Hey and what is up guys? Uh, in today's video I will build the hardscape inside my new UNS60U aquarium. But before I do that, I have to say guys, your welcome back feedback on the previous video has literally blown my mind. I seriously haven't expected this reaction and when reading through your comments, I couldn't stop smiling. Uh, I honestly appreciate you so, so much and it really motivates me to make more videos. Now, in the previous video, I have also said that every video is going to have a giveaway included and today's video is gonna be no different. So make sure to watch carefully until the end. And to show you, I'm absolutely serious about it. Let's pick a winner from the last video right now and find a new home for this sexy regulator. Now, I'll go through the comments and pick a winner. Regensburg 89, congratulations, you won the Life Aqua CO2 regulator. Please get in contact with me through the email at the about page of this channel. And now let's get back to the 60U project. By the way, in the previous video, I completely forgot to mention that every UNS aquarium comes with a matching rubber mat. I decided to go with rocks only as I already have a wood and rocks layout next to it. But before I can start building the hardscape, there is something important missing. Every aquascape needs a proper substrate system. This time I will use substrate from ADA and a new product I am particularly very excited about, APT Start. APT Start is a powerful substrate booster for new tanks. Not only will it enrich the substrate and optimize macro and trace elements, but also accelerate tank cycling and make it ready for planting and livestock introduction. The substrate products, by the way, have been kindly provided by European Aquaristics, the sponsor of today's video. I start by adding a 2 liter bag of PowerSan Advance in the back of the aquarium. This will ensure a good water circulation and a nutrient-rich deposit. Now it's time for APT start. Remove the blue sachet from the inside, you will need it later, and spread the content of the main pouch evenly at the bottom. Next, cover everything with a good amount of aqua soil and make sure to practice your substrate leveling skills. You can rate mine on a scale between 1 and 100 in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, smash the like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. With the substrate in place, it is now time to unveil the hardscape. I decided to use the case stone. I had these rocks for many years in my collection and they happen to fit perfectly in a 60 cm nature style Iwagumi layout. The case stone looks slightly white when it's dry and dusty, but when the surface is wet it has a mixture of warm ochre and red colors. Be careful, as some of the stones can have very sharp edges. Given rock selection, I have made a couple possible combinations and decided to go with the last one as it suits best the aquarium position in the studio. Always consider the viewing angle when creating a triangular composition. When making Iwagumi layout, I always start with the main stone first, the Oya Ishii. It is important to find the face side of the stone and to position it the best possible way. When positioned properly, the main stone will express strength and longevity. A smaller stone, Soye Ishii, is used to support the main stone. Right after the main stone, I like to position the secondary stone, Fuku Ishii. It is the second largest stone and balances out the composition. For visual expression, I'm using additional smaller stones, Sute Ishii, as they help connecting foreground with the larger main and secondary stones.
Finally, a Soyaichi stone is added in the back to extend the composition and increase the sense of depth. Now is the perfect time to fill in some extra aqua soap powder and brush everything perfectly neat. If you look from above, you will see how I position the hardscape in the middle third of the aquarium. For more depth, use less space in the front and more in the back. However, with the UNS60U and its extra depth, I will leave it as it is. Now that the hardscape is in place, we can enjoy the composition inside the beautiful canvas provided by the UNS60U aquarium and its unique dimensions. I can already see the layout full of plants, but I'm wondering which plants you would use in this layout. All green or maybe mixed with a lot of different colors? Let me know in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, it's giveaway time once again. I'm very excited about the new APT start and for this reason you can win a pack of this new product and one of the to our Acorus towels. All you have to do is to be simply subscribed to my channel and leave a comment below the like button. And in case you don't want to rely on the odds or you already use APT products, good news, now you can shop from the 2 Hour Acorist website and save 50% with code YURIS. This is also a great way to support my channel as I will receive a small commission at no extra cost for you. Simply go to this URL and use the code YURIS on checkout to save 50% from your purchase. And if you want to know how I will avoid algae and minimize risk of melting plants, make sure to watch the next video.